Well, George said to, is, he says, he shaved it out to the sound as all this was happening, make us a circle, make us a circle. I first of all want you to hear the sound and then we'll get back to make us a circle. This is the sound that was recorded just a few moments later. It, it continues, you've got little pieces here, but it's continuous. Now this is slowed down 50%, so you can hear. That's 5.4 kilohertz in audible frequency, which shows, has shown up now on a number of occasions within 0.2 of the same frequency, you'll see. <coughs> Over the hill the next day, official Hampshire police photographs, they actually had a ground unit come to our control facility and told us that over the top of the hill were we aware there was a new circle with a ring. And that's their photographs taken of this circle with a ring, which appeared to have responded to George's request. This was the headline, British newspapers shortly after, July 89, UFO blast television crew from Circle of Corn. Well, now this is very similar, but it's also got extraordinarily fringe edges to it. I had just finished my interview with a, with a sound pe much like this. I've got a lead stuck on the back of me here, and that was very similar, it's identical to an interview we were doing for BBC television for another programme. I had finished my interview, came to the edge of the circle, a large circle, this one here, over here. TV crew there, got a camera, it's got a big boom going up. Into the circle goes Pat Delgado for his interview. And as he's set up, he's, he's on air, they just kind of brought him in, it's being filmed for a later television segment. Suddenly I can hear the sound and, you know, once heard, never forgotten, you've just heard it. This shrilling sound is coming out of the headset of the sound guy, just as Dan is back there now with his headset on. And the guy's going like this, it's like, my God. Pat Delgado, at the same time, you, some of you might have seen the footage. Remember, the film, the camera's still rolling and Pat's going, it's all around me, it's all around me. It's being caught by his microphone, the lead, the transmitter, here. He's inside the energy field and his hair on his head is rising, his arms. He's feeling the electrostatic field and they're recording, for the second time, the sound. Well, we headed at their invitation, uh, oh, incidentally, all the red lights are coming up on the television camera and after a couple of minutes or so, the television camera was destroyed. Not before they had it in the can, the actual footage, the recording in the can, taken away to Birmingham Pebble Mill Studios where we were invited to do a live piece on air a couple of days later. And this is what happened there. This is us and much younger Colin Andrews on the end with Pat. And this is the sound engineer as it was happening. He's trying to kind of, he's trying to squelch it out and do all kinds of things here. It isn't having any of it. This is Pat saying, it's all around me. I can feel it television camera over here is destroyed. Well, they come on air. They're going down, 10 seconds, on air. Nine, eight, seven, six. On the segment comes, they're going from, over from National News in Great Britain to the studio to do this piece. They start running the footage, and as they got to the actual clip itself, it went all supply to the entire studio. So all of that happened. This, everybody in Britain knows about all this stuff because it, it, it literally terminated the program. The automatic generators kicked in and of course brought the whole thing back up. And so that is the BBC sound. I don't think there's any real point in me pressing it. It's the same stuff, 6.6 .6 kilohertz recorded by BBC television. We're very good friends.